Hey everyone, when I started looking into multi-tenancy a while back, I had this problem in the back of my mind that kept me thinking for quite a while. So we have our tenants pushing jobs to the queue and we have several workers processing jobs from this queue. So in this example, we have jobs from the yellow tenant, the red tenant, the blue tenant and the green tenant and several workers processing these jobs. Now each of these workers could be processing jobs from a different tenant. So we have a worker processing a job from the blue tenant, one for the red tenant and so on. A problem may happen when one tenant, let's say the red tenant, pushes a lot of jobs in bulk to the queue and this will cause all the workers to be processing these jobs or jobs from the red tenant. No worker will be able to process any other job from other tenants until all the jobs of the red tenant are processed. So because a single tenant pushed a lot of drops in bulk to the queue, all other tenants will have to wait until these tenants' drops are done. One way of dealing with this problem is using throttling. Here we are using red throttling to only allow 10 drops for each tenant to be processed every 60 seconds. If one tenant hits the limit, his drops will be released back to the queue and won't be processed. However, with this approach, our workers will still pick the jobs. So all the workers will pick the jobs from the red tenant and they will release it back. They won't process it, but they still pick it. Another option I thought is to have several queues instead of one queue and we push jobs to a random queue each time. So when the red tenant pushes a lot of bulk jobs and we randomly select the first queue for these jobs to be sent to, the other queues will be free and workers will be able to process jobs from other tenants. So instead of having a single queue to process from, we will start five workers and we and each worker will be processing jobs from five queues. And when we are sending a bulk of jobs, we are going to pick a random queue each time. That seemed like a decent solution. However, there is the problem of the queue prioritization. If queue number one is the first in priority, workers will pick jobs from this queue before any other queue. And if that queue is filled with jobs from the red tenant, all workers will be still processing all his jobs before looking at other queues. So the problem is not solved. And to fix this, we can change the prioritization for each worker. So for one worker, we have the order 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the other worker will have the order 2, 5, 1, 4, 3, and so on. So instead of all workers giving priority to the first queue, each worker will give priority to a different queue. And that way, if the first queue is jammed with drops from the red tenant, other workers will be processing drops from other queues. However, what if the drops are not dispatched in bulk? They are just separate drops each still pushed to a random queue. If the red tenant is dispatching a lot of drops, each dispatched to a random queue, he might actually fill all the queues. And this will lead to all workers processing drops from the red tenant still and won't process any other drops until their jobs are done. With enough queues and enough workers, this problem might not happen. But I wanted to explore if there is a way we can fix this. What if we dispatch the jobs from each tenant to a separate queue? So the red tenant has its own queue and the blue tenant has its own queue and so on. And we have our workers pick jobs from a different queue each time. So the first worker will be picking jobs from the queue of the orange tenant, the second worker from the queue of the green tenant and so on. And on each loop workers will pick a different tenant to process jobs from. That way we distribute the load evenly between tenants. With randomization in place, we give each tenant an equal opportunity to have his jobs processed. But how can we tell the workers to pick a random queue each time? We know that we have to specify the queues for each worker when we start it. We need to find a way to customize how a worker picks which queue to process jobs from and we don't have to provide the list of the queues while starting the worker because there could be hundreds of queues if we have hundreds of tenants. For that, I opened a pull request targeting the master branch, where I proposed a way to customize how workers pick jobs from different queues. For that to work, you need to give a specific name to your workers. So if these workers are meant to be processing jobs from different tenants, we give them a name of tenancy worker. And on each time we dispatch a job, we send this job to a specific tenant queue. Now in a service provider, we can use the new pop using method 
provide the name of our worker and customize how it picks jobs from the queues. In this simple example, we are just picking five random tenants from our database and checking if any of these tenant has jobs in queue. If so, we'll just pop the job from the queue and return it to our worker. And on the next worker loop, we will pick five different random tenants as well. Using this method, we can have as many queues as we want. Each queue contains jobs of a specific tenant and workers will be picking queues randomly to process jobs from. The only problem I could think of with this approach is if a worker keeps picking tenants that ha don't have any jobs. So here it picks five random tenants and there are no jobs to process from these tenants, selects other five random tenants and tries to find jobs but no jobs, while at the same time there are tenants that have jobs that needs to be processed but with the randomization the worker is not picking these jobs. And to deal with this I think we can provide the sleep option and set it to zero and that way our worker will not wait between each worker loop. So if we have sleep set to 10 seconds, for example, the worker will pick five different tenants, tries to find jobs for them. If no jobs at all, the worker will sleep for 10 seconds before trying again. If we have sleep set to zero, the worker will simply not wait and it will keep pulling five random tenants forever or until it finds a job to process. I'm curious to know what you guys think. Do you think this method is actually helpful? It's something I've never seen before in other queue systems and I wonder why. Maybe there is a problem with this approach that I can't see. So please let me know your opinion in the comments section down below. And if you have thought of any different approach that I didn't cover in this video. In all cases, I hope that you learned something. Thank you and have a great day.